going on everybody it's boy boo coming at you all the brand new supreme drop list and man supreme's kind of been heating up a little bit lately last week was a really good one we secured a personal i was super excited and it doesn't look like we're stopping anytime soon because there are some items releasing this week i am stoked about it. one item i've been waiting for all season long you guys can guess it in your head i always love playing this game with y'all to see if you know me like you think you do but let's get in this video there's a lot to talk about this week let me know what you're gonna go for and also let me know what your sister's number is while you're at it and let's just get into this video i hope you guys enjoy not but for real can i get her digits so here we are on the supreme website i already see something that is actually pissing me off we're gonna talk about it in a sec i just gotta remind you guys if you want to join my cook group browser we've been running a promotion you get half off your first month click the link in the description use code youtube you'll get a whole write-up from me from what to go for this week but let's get into this drop list man and starting it off the hockey table i feel like i'm like an aged boomer at this point with these supreme accessories like this they're just outrageously expensive they're not even like that special there's not like really cool supreme detailing i just feel like a complete hater that sits outside on his porch with his shotgun and tells you to get off his yard like i'm just i'm sick of this garbage bro i hate this shit i miss like the actual cool stuff like the fender guitar like even the dirt bikes man like i'll take that any day over like a hockey table so yeah this is a pass kevlar cam cap you guys really upvoted this second most this week actually you know what these are pretty clean, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I might be skipping on them. If it's 48, it's always a pretty good scoop with Supreme. I like the green and the purple the most, to be honest. Those would be the two I would gun for. The red on gray is not bad either. And Kevlar is a solid material. Let's talk about another hat releasing, the S logos. Now, I'm a little less shocked to see these so upvoted because it's just a classic. I used to be S logo boom, man. Like, that used to be the only stuff I'd really wear on my channel. Nowadays, you know, we got the old gems on, but um, yeah, I've kind of passed my S logo phase. That being said, this is a pretty solid lineup. Um, it's always gonna be the black colors, the best. Denim's always a good choice as well i feel like the red is the sleeper here i'd go between those three colors this green just looks a little too like washed for me i usually do like the green hats the purple eggplant's not bad either but really go for the blue the denim or the red i think those are going to be the three best for this and these are actually going to be solid holds these pigment dyed s logos go up over time every single time although they do release them pretty often now but um, i think it's a good scoop 48 try to get two black is gonna fly and next up we have the archive denim jacquard trucker now this is an item i've definitely been waiting for it's not the item i'm gonna be copying in. I've never really been a huge denim jacket guy, but we have these really cool um, older Supreme prints plastered all over this one. We have the old fuck design. I've always wanted the tote bag with that design. And it looks like they took like photos of older Supreme jeans and also put those in this print. It's a really clever one. I've definitely noticed throughout this season, Tremaine has referenced a lot of older Supreme designs and this is one of those items. So I think that's really cool. I don't quite see resale on this one, to be honest. I could be wrong. I'm not going to lie. Like something like an XL for denim jackets is kind of always a hit. So that's what I would recommend if you go for it. It's should be kind of expensive 268 maybe 298 i'm not gonna risk it personally especially when there's not like huge supreme branding or anything like that so i think these are kind of skippable it's a really sick personal item and we also have the jeans which i think are more wearable it's a little cooler to me i just actually wear jeans and not jean jackets so um these are more copable again i would say the black color is the better of the two these might also still be pretty expensive like 178 188 198 would be ridiculous Boy, boy, boy. My hope would be around 178 to have some chance for profit. If it's more than that, I would probably skip on them. Between the two, I think the XL denim jacket in black is the most for sure profit. Really cool designs, but what I'm looking at this week is the studded oh, Hollywood belt. Oh my god. This is so sick, man. I've been raving about this one all season. I remember when I saw it in the lookbook, I was like, bro, I absolutely need that. I can't take this shit no more, man. I want it so fucking bad. Now, which colorway, fellas? Because I know a lot of you are probably going to say the black is the safest one. I agree. That's probably the color I'm going to get. But that cowhide, I salute my soldiers. They're going to rock that one, man. I know some shit, but I already got this Stussy belt that has some cowhide hits on it. Just animal prints in general. I don't think I need another one, but the cowhide is special on this, man. I don't really like the denim. I feel like that's just like harder to wear with like other denim. So that one's skippable. I'm going to go for the black color. Um, large XL, I have a feeling, is going to do better. Dare I say shades of BB Simon belts on this one, man. Like It's the closest we've really gotten since that collab, which erupted. Although the belt buckle on this one's a little lame, I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, this one's special to me. I think the black is the one. I think Cal might even have a chance too. I've heard these are gonna be around 200, 218, so it's definitely a little steep. Might not be a right away profit item, but I truly do think this is gonna hold really well. We do not see Supreme do really big branding like this on many belts. And we also have some other Hollywood trading company items. I do like these wallets a lot, man. I kind of need a new wallet. I'm not gonna be buying this one, but I think it is pretty fucking sick. Again, the cowhide is my favorite. The black's really nice. The denim, it just, it doesn't really pop on the denim too much it kind of blends in a little too much which maybe is something you guys like i don't know if this one's really gonna have as much profit supreme hardly does wallets which is gonna help this out although it's not really your traditional wallet it's not too clean like it's a little loud and that leaves us with the belt loop which also does have a chance if it's cheap enough if it's under 40 bucks 
Yeah. Might be a good hold in the black color for sure. That's the only one I'd really vouch for. Um, yeah, let me know if you guys are going to cop any of this Hollywood trading stuff. I am so excited for it. Definitely one of my favorite collabs from this season. Next up, the small box baggy mesh shorts. Pretty boring. Not really for me. I wish they actually just did some like jorts that had the small box logo on them. That would definitely be way more trendy in style and it'd probably look pretty clean. Those are going to be skips. Um, the bunny short sleeve work shirt. Very weird. <laughs> I like the bunny print a lot. I would have loved this on a t-shirt. Now, obviously the plaid hit. A little weird, man. It's just, I don't know. It doesn't really blend with the rest of the shirt. I feel like that's kind of the point of it though. It's a fun different take on like using the logo and everything. It's skippable for sure, but I do like the bunny graphic. Hanes tank tops. These, these have not released all season long, really. <laughs> I thought these just sat on the website. That's surprising. Those are skips, but... <sighs> The perfect season football jersey. Now, fellas, we've just about had a perfect season over here on Supreme. You know what I'm saying? That's because nothing sells out. That's besides the point. This is a super sick football jersey. With the 23, obviously, for 2023, but the Michael Jordan jersey, man, come on. Now, this yellow is atrocious. I This is such a bad colorway. But the baby blue, and more importantly, the camo, man. The camo one is fire for this. Like, this is one of the harder football jerseys they've done in a while. I feel like they had really original jerseys this season. This one's a little cleaner, like more basic, I suppose but it's very wearable. Um, I actually think this one has really good potential. I think I might be copping as well. Bigger sizes as always. Um, and jerseys just age really nicely if they have the right designs. This is definitely one of them. Camo colorway, don't sleep. This is definitely one of my, I think you guys should cop items of the week. I do have to say though, uh, jerseys don't really sell right away. It definitely is a better hold item. But I haven't led you guys astray, man. It's hockey jerseys I hyped up last season. I got like three of. Those have been flipping for the moon. Trust me on this one, boys. The white jersey I think is a good cop. Old English nylon shorts, um, actually a pretty solid one. These are water shorts, right? I'm actually not sure. It doesn't say they are, but I feel like these totally are for swimming. I don't really fucking know, man. Regardless, it's really clean. It's definitely a personal item. Probably not going to have profit. Divine Sip Up Hooded Sweatshirt. I've definitely been a fan of this one this season. It's pretty weird. Um, the white and the green are super sick. The black, I, they're all pretty sick. I like the green the most. Um, the red with the green, uh, I just am a huge fan of. I wouldn't really rock it personally. Like, actually, I would rock the fuck out of it, but I would not spend retail for it. I feel like most zip up hoodies, I usually just keep them unzipped, but this one looks really fucking sick all the way zipped up. I feel like you have to zip it up all the way. If this goes on sale at the end of the season, you might see me copping it in the green color because I'm actually a huge fan. I'm just not going to pay it's retail and no it's not gonna resell uh wash scrape short sleeve tops this one's a bummer for me i just don't like the logo they use very much um i always love their short sleeve tops the wash colors as well but just not a fan of the logo so those are gonna be a pass here we have another throwback design is what i was talking about with tremaine a lot of references to past stuff here we have the joan of arc hats um joan of arc tee back in the day definitely an iconic one they use the exact same photo for that t-shirt if you guys don't know about joan of arc story she was a badass bitch no cap shout out to you salute joan of arc he's gonna be skits though but a pretty cool item i was definitely happy to see him using some older supreme stuff the knit stripe tank tops i mean they're gonna be just overpriced for what they are it's gonna be a skip and finally the sequin stripe zip polo that i hate my white ass would look so goofy in this, but the certain the right person though would make this so fire. Like this baby blue, bro. I would low-key bet money we see Lil Yachty rocking this. For whatever reason, the baby blue color of this just screams Yachty to me. This could be one of those weird items that somehow flips down the line if some rapper rocks it or something. I don't know. It's a very unique item. The more I look at it, I really enjoy it. I would just look so goofy in it, which is why I'm like, nah, it's not for me, bro. But you know what? This one's grown on me this season. I actually think it's really sick. That baby blue is the one. That's going to do it for the week. Let me know what you guys think about this week. I think it's a really good one. The Hollywood Trading Company stuff, the Archive Denim. We have S logo, the football jersey. Like, there's definitely some items in here to make money off of. There's also some really good personals. So let me know what you guys are going to go for. Be a big boy cart this week. More personals. I'm so hyped, man. I've been buying a lot of personals lately. Those unboxings are coming out, baby. I just did my whole FTP one. I'm making this video on Monday. I'm going to be filming another unboxing Tuesday for Supreme. So, yeah, a lot of videos on the way. I'm really on work mode right now. I promise y'all. So, yeah, stay tuned for all that. It's been your boy Boone. I'll see you on the next one. I'm out, man. Peace.